It seemed like a harmless friend request. But with that one click of the mouse, Kristen Pratt opened the door to a nightmare. We need to talk face to face or I'm gonna be dead. And set in motion a two year ordeal that placed her in constant fear for her life. <laughs> Kristen was a college student in Florida when she was contacted through Facebook by Patrick Mashoni, a classmate from high school living in the same town looking to catch up. I didn't even notice he was in the class with me. It wasn't until later when I went to college that I got a Facebook message from someone who said they were in this class and that would be Patrick. First couple of messages were great, you know, just like two friends or two people just catching up. Then after the first three or four messages, things got excessive. The messages got very weird. Why do I like you? I don't know. Because you sat in a class and did this. I have no idea why I like you. I don't even know you. When this starts going on, you're just kind of thinking, all right, it'll go away. But it doesn't go away. It just keeps going and get, gets worse. I've been sent on a mission to make Kristen Pratt feel warm and fuzzy. Kristen knew she needed help. When I first called the police, they said, well, does he know where you work? And I said, no, and they said, D does he know where you live? And I said, no, and they said, nothing we can do, and they left. Email me today. It's up to you now. Save your own life. The cyber stalking intensified. You don't want me for a life, Kristen Pratt? That's a very, very unwise decision. Many of his messages involved twisted fantasies. I want to tie your wrists together, strip you naked, secure your arms above your head, blindfold you. Other posts made Kristen's blood run cold. Don't make me do something stupid. She finally got an injunction. Did he ever abide by the injunction? No. Whatever you want, whatever makes you happy, that's what I want. It didn't matter how many legal things I did or anything. He just saw it as an obstacle in his way that he had to overcome. And he would. He would overcome them every time. He would just be like, hey, I'm here. I'm here. I'm not going anywhere. According to him, if we're supposed to be together, none of this is wrong. All right, Kristen, look, all I'm asking is to let me over one night. You can't keep ignoring me. You can't. Mashoni started showing up at Kristen's work and on the campus of her college. Desperate, she began altering her appearance in hopes that he wouldn't find her. How often were you changing your life? Probably once every two months, maybe even more than that sometimes. Ever get up one day, leave the house, and think to yourself, this could be my last day. This could be the day Patrick actually does me harm. All the time. Quit wasting my time. I knew it was just a matter of time. Look me in the eye and talk to me like a person. Then an unexpected turn. While on patrol, Sergeant Mark Conway spotted Mashoni with a backpack acting suspicious. Mike Hallfeld from our Orlando affiliate WKMG caught up with Conway. I thought I had a car burglar and I, I, when I opened the backpack, I, I thought I would find um, maybe stolen car stereos or GPS's in there. Instead, he found Mashoni's camera and was treated to a frightening glimpse inside the stalker's dark obsession. Oh man, please just listen to me. I never wanted to be mean or say anything mean. You know, the videos worried me, and he kept referring to this girl named Kristen. I had no idea who she was. A quick search of Mashoni's record and Sergeant Conway found injunctions, police reports, and Kristen. I get a phone call from Sergeant Conway, and he's asking me these questions, and he's wanting to know what's going on, and so I tell him the whole story. And he said, this man's gonna kill you. And he said, that's what I've been trying to tell everybody, but nobody wants to help me. Digging deeper, Conway found video of Mashoni prowling outside Kristen's workplace and immediately presented the case to the state's attorney. And they said, oh my gosh, he's gonna, he's gonna kill her. Anyone who stands in my way will be guilty of treason. Patrick Mashoni was finally brought to justice and sentenced to four years in prison. Mashoni spent two years behind bars, but he was released early and is now back on the street. Our affiliate WKMG in Orlando talked to him shortly after he got out. One of the scariest things about that interview is he still refuses to accept that he was a cyber stalker. Well, I wasn't because that would imply that someone was in danger. So that's why I would just say I was looking for someone 
And other than that, I would say I was typing under the influence. That's what I call it. That's a TUI. When that consequence doesn't match what you think is happening, you're not going to take it very seriously or realize it's actually a consequence. Mashoni is banned from the internet and prohibited from ever approaching Kristen. Small consolation for a young woman whose entire life was changed with one click of the mouse. Do you ever think you'll live a normal life? No, no. Um, for me, normal, yes. For everyone else, no. I park close to where I'm going always because I don't want to park too far away. It gives me more space to get attacked or hurt. I make sure I say goodbye to people when I leave a place. Make sure that they know I left that place at that time. This is my life now, you know, this is what you live with. Kristen has now moved to another city, but she says this is a nightmare that follows her wherever she goes. Does he still haunt you? Yeah. There are times when I still have nightmares. This I'll have to tell you in person. I have a couple of recurring dreams where he finds a way to get into my house and then I wake up and he kills me. I'm not here to waste your time, so don't waste any more of my time. 